Hi, I'm Captain Harold, and this is video number two of a three-part series on the 18 minute drill. So this video will walk us through the planning horizon and how you can take any given time period, split it into chunks, and create an actionable plan for your platoon to follow. So in the case of the 18 minute drill, that's really a practical exercise for cadets to receive a mission and go through the planning process. What you'll see in this example is a 30 minute time horizon that's specific to this individual mission. For other uh, exercises, it could be a three hour time frame. It's all gonna be dependent on what the specific mission is, but the idea of this exercise is to take whatever time frame you're given and split it in individual chunks in accordance with these phases so that you can then finally deliver uh, or complete the plan and deliver a full out. So the first phase is gonna be receipt of the actual mission. So this is where you as the platoon leader, uh, you and your platoon sergeant will receive the frago, read it, internalize it, and then uh, immediately move on to the next phase, phase two, of uh, briefing your board. So you wanna pull in all your subordinate leaders, uh, PL, platoon sergeant, all squad leaders, and then any additional attachments that you might have for the specific operation. This is a great opportunity for you to get everyone on the same page, understand the strengths and weaknesses of individual subordinate leaders and their, uh, and their elements so that you can then make delineate tasks to each of these uh, elements. So who's going to be assault? Who's going to be security? Who's support? What are some of the other tasks, including who's, who's got any litter responsibilities? Who's got EPW or demo team? Uh, and critically important, who's, who's lead in the order of movement? What squad is going to be responsible for doing the route planning, understanding distance and direction uh, throughout the operation? Once you've identified those from the worn out, you can then split up and give, give your squad leaders time to plan individually. Uh, so this is when you transition into phase three, three alphas, uh, particularly the PL is maintaining uh, the overall plan, supervising the planning of the other three squad leaders. Uh, and individual squads at this point are taking the time to speak with their team leaders and their, their soldiers to make sure that they have a talk through rehearsal of what their actions on the objective might be or actions from start point to the ORP and, and on the leaders we go. Throughout this time, moving into phase three Bravo, that's when the squad leader comes to the platoon leader individually and gives a back brief of what their squad plan is. The squads don't have any information really of what the other squads have been planning. So this is a good opportunity for you as a platoon leader to kind of deconflict any friction points that you see between some of the individual squads. After the squads have, have given their briefs, uh, really what's going on in the background is phase three Charlie, and that's the platoon sergeant is still responsible for, for all the priorities of work happening. Uh, for example, inside a patrol base, making sure the security is still established, uh, going through priorities of work, distributing supplies, and then also making sure that uh, someone's building the, uh, uh, the terrain model. And it, you can even give them the task of overseeing the route planning uh, to make sure you have more eyes on, on that specific task. Once you've gotten all the, uh, the plans from your individual squads, you still have about five minutes left for you to synthesize everything together as a, a comprehensive plan. Uh, do a, a quick completion of your op board notes card, and then uh, maybe familiarize yourself with the terrain model so that you're prepared to give your op board. So that's a quick example of what you can do given any amount of time, how you can split it up to complete your, plan your planning process. In the next video, we'll talk about how to actually deliver your op board. 